Todoist is great to keep track of all your to-dos, but couple it with time tracking and you'll really take your productivity to the next level. Tracking time in Todoist is really simple. Just click a button to start tracking time, once more to stop, and later you can see all sorts of data like how your day really looks like, which activities took the longest, and how much money you've earned. Here's how to set up time tracking in Todoist step by step. To begin tracking time in Todoist, you'll need Clockify. Clockify is a standalone time tracker that integrates with Todoist and best of all, it's completely free. To get started, head over to clockify.me website and create a free account. Next, go to the Chrome Web Store and install the Clockify extension, which is also available for Firefox and Edge. Now open the extension, click Login, and Chrome will recognize that you're already logged in on the website and your account will automatically be ready for tracking. Now open your Todoist board and select a task you plan to complete. To quickly start the timer, click on the timer button right next to the task name or if you open a task and wish to track time on it, subtask, select the subtask and click on the Clockify integration icon and it will automatically pick up the subtask's name so you won't have to type it in manually. If you notice the extension turned blue, it means the timer is ticking. After clicking, the Clockify extension will automatically pick your task's name. You will also have an option to insert a project, a tag or mark the hours you spend on a task as billable. If Glockify has a project that matches the Todoist project, the extension will automatically select the project when you start time tracking so you won't have to do it manually. When you insert all the necessary information, click Done and the entry will be created. The extension also comes with useful shortcuts available in Settings. In the list, you will be able to set default projects, reminders, enable idle detection, the Pomodoro timer, and more. Once you stop the timer, a time entry will be saved and appear here in the list. You can click on it to edit it, or you can click on the play icon to quickly start a new timer for the same activity. Another way to start the timer is by selecting some text like this. Right click on it and click Start Timer with Description. Switch over to Clockify and you'll see that it started tracking time for the selected description. If you worked on something but forgot to start the timer, you can add time manually by switching to manual mode in the extension and entering duration, filling out all the other information like this. Because Clockify is synced across all devices, you can also stop or start the timer on your mobile, web or desktop app. Track tasks will remain saved in Clockify even if you delete them from Todoist dashboard. The web version of Clockify comes with a lot more features. They can manage projects, invite users, set up hourly rates and most importantly run reports. Reports let you check all the hours you and your team tracked on Todoist tasks and projects. You can filter data, select different day ranges and group it by date or user. Finally, you can export any report as PDF or Excel or share with anyone via a link so they can see progress in real time. If you have a team, you can invite them here by typing their email address so they can start tracking time in your account. You can also set up hourly rates for projects and members and see in reports how much money each project bought or how much time you spend on non-billable activities. To learn more about Clockify and how to set up rates, run reports and take advantage of some of the more advanced time checking features, be sure to check out our other videos.